Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, this is Roger Cruz, Roger Cruz Marketing, and today I am going to show you how to install the Facebook chatbot on your site. Um, this has been a problem for everybody for a while. One thing I'd really appreciate it is if you could go to my Facebook page, which is Roger Cruz Marketing, uh, at Roger Cruz Marketing on Facebook, and please like the page. I am uh, trying to get some pages to uh, some likes together so I can add a custom app to my page. So. That would be uh, something I could greatly appreciate it. Hopefully you'll get some use out of this video and let's get to it. So as an example, I just want to show you on my site. Here it is, Facebook chatbot. Installed directly from Facebook. And then here on the left is my Wix chatbot. So I'm actually able to keep both chatbots on the site. I feel like having both makes it run a little slower so I might not keep them both on here but for the purpose of the tutorial I just wanted to show you that they're both here and that they both work properly um, this is how you work around the problem with um, actually being able to embed the official Facebook uh, chatbot widget onto your site okay and it functions perfectly mine is a unlimited business plan uh, with a send and I also added it to a client site just to make sure it would work. This is just a basic unlimited plan with no um, upgrades to the Ascent package. And they both work. Okay. So the first thing you would need to do is you need to go to your Facebook page. Remember, like my page, please. Thank you. Um, go to your settings. And once you're in settings, scroll to where it says messenger platform and then scroll down and you're going to see customer chat plugin and you go to setup it's a basic walkthrough it's going to ask you to set your uh, default message in your language just go ahead and go through that for the purpose of this um, and then you can change the colors. We're going to leave it the official Facebook colors for now. And that's going to give you this code. Um, when you get this code, it's going to ask you to put your domain in for your site. When you put your domain in, make sure that you put the HTTPS um, semicolon forward slash forward slash. And then just the domain of the site, skip the www dot. If you put the www dot, the www dot it will not work. Um, now go here and just click into the code. It'll automatically copy into your clipboard. And then you can hit finish. So now that you'll have the code in the clipboard. Now you can put it onto the site. How I found um, a way to get this to work was not through activating the developer mode tools, which, which you would think would be the way to do it but actually go into settings and then go into tracking and analytics where you would normally put code for uh, Google ads, Bing ads, uh, remarketing ads, pixel, etc. And I'm going to go to a uh, new tool, custom, paste the code. Uh, make sure you have the correct domain selected. If you have multiple domains for your site, like I do, Name it Facebook chatbot or something along these lines so that you can have it um, labeled differently than the rest of the codes that will come through. And then load to all pages and then um, load to the body start. And you hit apply. I'm going to show you what mine looks like when it's finished. So we'll go ahead and edit in here. Now, as you can see, I have the same code. Everything's selected, the custom name, Facebook chatbot. And then just like I had mentioned, all pages. And then go to uh, body start and apply. And that will be it. Uh, once you apply it, just make sure that you save your site, and publish it. And it may take a second, a little longer than normal to load, but you will have the official Facebook chatbot um, from Facebook connected to your page, free of charge, no third-party apps, 
um, and it functions properly. And it doesn't interfere with um, the Wix chatbot. The only thing that you're gonna have to do is if you have your Wix chatbot set by the default, where it's normally to the right of the page and you wanna keep this chatbot still going, then you're gonna to wanna to go into the chatbot settings and move it to the other side of the page. If you go here, uh, go to the settings. And then I want to say it was in layout. No. Yeah, actually, yes, it was in layout. Uh, and then it's default is bottom right. Just move it to bottom left. Just like it is here. And you're going to have to do the same thing inside of the mobile editor. Either that or they're going to lay on top of each other if you want to keep both chatbots running while you um, test this out. Because I know it's something that's been uh, bugging everybody for a long time. And who would have thought that the way to handle it would be to um, just put it into where you put analytics code. So same thing here, go to settings or actually layout once again, and just move it to the left. And that way they'll be on both sides. Um, so it works perfectly on my phone, uh, works perfectly on the live site on desktop had no hiccups in it except for the fact that I do feel like it loads a little bit slower. Uh, please comment in the video if it works for you, just say it worked. And then if it doesn't work, put it doesn't work. And if it doesn't work, I'll definitely help you. Um, also, please, I would greatly appreciate if you go to our Facebook page and like it. I am trying to accomplish another goal. And uh, that would be more than enough for me to be happy as everyone who finds use to this video. Just take one extra second out of your day and go like that page for me, okay? Thank you so much. Feel free to leave me any questions directly on my site or through the Facebook page. Um, or go on my site and use the Facebook chat bomb. I'll get right back to you. All right, thank you so much and take care.